Do you play War Thunder and are you struggling with the economy? You can now get free Golden Eagles by downloading the app down below and completing simple tasks. If you use my referral code EPGEK, you get 10 Golden Eagles upon signing in. And if all of you accumulate enough Golden Eagles throughout that link, I will be able to host 5,000 Golden Eagle giveaways with the Golden Eagles that you guys have earned. Welcome back. And today we are flying out an old Titan, the J32B. It has an absolute metric load of thrust. And it used to be one of the best planes in the game. But it got up tiered a little bit. The matchmaker changed a little bit. And it kind of became a shell of its former self. And it's a shame. It's very good still in terms of the performance. However, you are going to be running into MiG-19s, Ariettes, F-104s. And a lot of other planes that will kind of just ruin your life. Now, luckily, we are able to carry the rocket pod on the left wing there that you can see because we need to be able to defeat missiles of something like a Yak-38 for example those things are ruining your life if you don't have flares or something to combat the missiles because this plane is all about using your power and getting your enemy slow this thing is kind of like a fat swift f7 and it still feels decently good to fly the only real issue is that you have to be aware of you can rip the wings off it is kind of touchy so you need to be sure that you don't hammer your elevator or start like rolling or use your rudder while you are pulling fully and if you don't do that this plane is pretty stable however you have a low amount of gun ammo you only have 260 rounds total over 430 millimeters you don't have any tracers and you have four missiles well three if you want to run some kind of countermeasure but they're only aim 9p equivalent so overall this plane being at the same BR as a MiG-19 or an F-104A that we are firing right here is, I think, completely unfair. But, you know, what can you do about it? You need to be able to do with the cards that you are given. So we try to stay behind this F-104. We rip the flaps off and he's going to try to slow down. Unfortunately, this thing is much better than an F-104 at low speeds, especially if it's a contest of whether I can pull my nose on you. Because he wasn't in the position to really stall me out or like use his energy to his advantage. He was going way too slow. It's an F-104. He is just going to fly or float rather directly in my gun sight. K-200 comes in. F-100 as well. I'm just going to go horizontal for a bit here. Try to not lose too much speed while make them lose as much as possible. And then we can simply just run away from them. We're going to use the rocket here because I'm not sure if it was fast enough. And we are at a decent altitude. Probably didn't need to, but I have 18 anyway. And you need to use them sometimes, so why not use them anyway? In hindsight, definitely wasn't needed. Right now, I'm flying away from the F-100 because I don't want to deal with the F-100 with a Key 200 directly next to him. And you can probably imagine why that is. The F-100 is now reeling me in and I'm kind of lucky that the Key 200 got bored and disengaged. However, it does get replaced by an F-104. Which I also don't really want to fight. But at least I can somewhat dogfight these guys if they are bad at the game. Whereas with the Key 200, he can simply just put the cursor on me and he will win the fight. I don't have a flap. I'm going to keep it horizontal because this F-100 is not going to be keeping up with it. Unfortunately, the F-100 does pull a lot of AOA and he ends up slotting in behind us. He's again slower than us because he bleeds much more speed. And I need to disengage. The F-104 again flies away from us. And I'm now going to go into the opposite of what we just did. And this guy now probably thinks that we are going to try to conserve energy after I try to outrun him twice. So I'm actually going to try to slow down this time around. And that's a little bit of a detriment of this plane. It doesn't really lose speed. Now he does shoot out in front of us. And once you are behind someone in this thing, especially if it's a plane that loses a lot of energy. You will be able to just reel them in. And kind of yo-yo behind them. You can overbrake because you out-accelerate them. And if you go too fast, well, you can simply go vertical. We get behind the F-100. He needs to do something. He does the worst thing imaginable. And we end up just instantly slamming him. Because that plane can't really do much. It loses a lot of speed. And yes, it does pull a decent amount of AOA. But when I'm on your 6 and your plane is massive, you're both going to give me a massive target and a very slow one as well. We are merging with an F3H and I'll show you exactly why I'm not touching this thing anymore. Look at the amount of speed this thing loses and how bad it is when it comes to something like a spiral. This thing loses more speed than my grandma trying to roll up a hill in a wheelchair. She isn't going to get very far and you can tell that... Even though he's cutting me off, he's leading the shot here. Uh, it's simply not going to happen. I'm just going to shoot a rocket off in case he starts shooting a missile. I don't think it would have tracked, but I'm going very slow. 
I might as well. We get directly behind him and the F3H is going super slow. And when you're going super slow in a plane that's not on the deck, even an A9B will be sufficient. So it hits him, he's out of the match. And now I kind of need to be worried because I only see one guy. And I know there is like two or three more guys around. But then I see that they're all ground pounding. Which is absolutely perfect for us. So we dive into the A4E. And guess what? We do the exact same thing. And this plane is absolutely insane at spiraling. Because it, one, maintains its speed decently. And it also has an absolute big massive engine. And if you are in a down tier and you are fighting subsonics. You can do this maneuver to basically everyone. Because none of them will have the energy to really do anything about it. The A4E is also a plane that loses a lot of speed. And it doesn't have the most amount of acceleration. I don't know what the designers were cooking when they designed a Delta Wing with a tiny ass engine. But you know it is a ground pound I know. You, you don't have to tell me why in the comments I know I am making a joke. That's, we do that sometimes here on this channel. So we kill him the exact same way. We killed the F3H. And we are going to go head on with the Key 200. And take a look at my speed. I'm already going 1000 again. So we go head on with him. We have 136 rounds left. We shoot a few rounds. He dodges. And we go up. We do the exact same thing. And even a Key 200 will fall victim to this kind of maneuver. Why? Because I'm going faster than his top speed. And he wasn't going anywhere near it. So I simply just go vertical. I put it into a bit of a spiral and once I have the position and I see that he isn't following I will simply just pitch straight down at him. Very easy shot, he doesn't dodge at all. He's going very slow because he's trying to force the head on there. I'm not sure if he's out of fuel or anything. But uh, he ends up eating the turtles and we are going to go back and land. Now I have one teammate left and absolute shout out to this guy. He's flying an IL TU-14 or an IL-28, I'm not entirely sure. And he's actually going to try and help me out. Absolutely goaded ass bomber pilot and he made this game possible so massive shout out to him it's a TU-14. Now why am I showing you the start of this fight where I'm simply just kind of flying straight at 2 kilometers? A Gepard that's why. I am running a rocket port and the rocket port means that I am ground pounding and because I am ground pounding the AA will open up on me. Now this is probably the most frustrating thing that has happened to me in a very long while and and that's not the end of it just yet. So we are going to engage the F-104. I'm going to try to go head on with him. See if I can maybe shoot him down. But my damage here is actually making it very hard for me to stay stable. So I already have a feeling that I'm simply going to lose this game. Just because of that damage. Now you can say that I'm lucky that I didn't instantly just explode. But man is this shit annoying. The F-104 is much faster than me. My energy retention is going to be lower. I'm going to turn worse. I'm gonna be slower, I'm gonna accelerate worse, basically my plane is just nerfed all around and on top of it the stability is gonna be a lot worse which means that I can't really aim very nicely, it's gonna feel very awkward and at low speed dogfights I am gonna probably spin out of control and lose a lot of position and or energy so I'm kind of boned in the long run and I want to go for the F104 above us however the F40 is on my 6 and F40 is normally something that I'm not too worried about. Yes I can't really dogfight it. And if he starts on my 6. If he catches me. I am completely done. But it's mostly about the damage right now. And I'm not sure if I can actually still out accelerate this guy. Or still outrun him. Now it looks like we are somewhat okay. But I'm going to try to bring him towards my friendly in the TU-14. While also flying away from the F-104. So that we can... I can't really call it a 2v1 because the F-104 is already turning back. Now I am able to get away from the F-40 and in my mind I am thinking what my options are. I don't really have many and I'm thinking to myself they probably are running min fuel and I will be able to outfuel them all. The issue is that I am damaged and I've already landed once. We are kind of running low on time. The tickets are not in our favor. So I can't really play the prolonged game here. So I need to make something happen. I don't have many options. At this point I'm simply trying to think of something. I can't really come up with anything. So I'm just going to take the fight with the F-104. I need this guy out of the game. For very simple reason. This guy is going to outrun me very easily. And he's going to make this game absolute hell if he stays alive. Now the F-40 for some reason is not flying towards me just yet. And the F-104 is dogfighting with me. I need to take it now. I need to stick this fight. As long as he keeps turning into the same directions I'm going to be fine. But he actually goes down and flies towards the F-40. 
And if I now fly towards that F40, I'm gonna have him above and behind me with more energy. And I'm not gonna be surviving that in any stretch of the imagination. So for now, I unfortunately need to fly away from again. And I say in the chat, this is gonna be the loss and I'm talking about the Gepard. Because this Gepard is absolutely making this impossible. However, the TU-14 is doing something pretty smart. He's gonna stay below them. He's gonna kind of ground pound, try to bait them down towards them. And this is allowing me some freedom so that I can do something. The F-40 is also going to go for the TU-14. The TU-14 is acting as bait. He is simply trying to get the pressure off me. And that's all I ask for him. This is an absolute go to teammate. And yet again, if you are watching this, it is a little while ago. Thank you very much. We go head on with the F-104. We miss our shots. Pretty easy shot. He was going pretty slow. And the TU-14 crit him, so I'm gonna take it right now. I don't want this guy to get back to the runway. I need to do it right here, right now. This guy needs to die. And he's going so slow that I think that even an AIM-9B is gonna be sufficient. However, he is actually going a little bit quicker than I anticipated. I'm still gonna fire it off because I need him to react to it. I need him to be scared and I need him to start maneuvering. Now, he just starts kind of pulling in and, I mean, at this kind of speed... At this kind of range, in this kind of situation, it's a pretty easy shot. Squeeze the trigger, down he goes, and now I need to get towards that F-86. He's dogfighting the TU-14, and again, absolutely goaded. He's keeping the F-40 slow, he's making it so that he can't come to me, and this is winning us the game. This is very, very good. We can now close the gap. TU-14 is keeping him... Occupied, making him constantly turn. The TU-14 does kind of pull into the head-on for us, but I can't really fault him. He can't really go anywhere else. He is stuck in that fight, and he cannot dictate it whatsoever. However, we are now here, and I'm going to loop on over, and I'm simply going to pull directly behind the F-40. The issue is that the TU-14 flew away for a little bit, probably tried to get the gunner on, so he is going to end up uh, dying right in front of us, which is very much unfortunate, but thank you very much. We have this guy by the balls now, however, because he's going way too slow. We are above him. The only real issue here is going to be the damage that we have on our wing. Get an easy shot. We managed to hit it. And now there's only one guy left. So I'm going to do my due diligence and thank the bomber. And because I do so, I instantly get slammed out of the air. I have no words for this. I try to be nice in my life for one whole time and I instantly get messed up for it. Now the F100 comes in. Now I think to myself, can I fight this guy? Can I maybe win? Can I try to fight him without the rudder? I think I can actually dogfight him at low speed and I'll get enough shots. But he runs away. He actually runs away. He doesn't want to take the fight. And this is going to be the end of the game basically. Because we now need to go RTB. He is going to leave us alone. And there's not much time left. And you might say, well, funny cut. Nah, we are going to go back for the landing. In hindsight, I probably wouldn't have won the dogfight without my rudder. I did a dogfight without a rudder a little bit earlier with the uh, Typhoon at 4.3 and I ended up winning. But this is way too unstable. So we land, we take back off and we are going to try to haul ass towards the middle of the map so that I can try to kill him before the timer runs out. Now I am hauling ass, he is hauling ass, he's probably going to try to fly towards the bombing point. I don't know why it took him so long, it even gave me the... Uh, enemy team has run out of uh, tickets or uh, active players or whatever the thing that's called where the timer starts ticking down because he was on the ground for like a minute and because of that we just end up failing the game just before we go head on now you might say why are you running the rocket pods this right here is exactly why shoot a rocket in the head on against the a10 and it's really that easy and if you are wondering why we are suddenly looking at some replay footage my entire video got corrupted the uh, old footage so i had to reshoot some of it and i thought that this game was interesting enough to the point where i can show you what it's like so i did have to redo this entire video luckily the funny part is that i did one more game and i ended up getting the first one so actually kind of blessing in disguise we did end up losing but an 8 kill game is an 8 kill game, despite how unlucky we might have gotten. We have a MiG-19 above us, together with a second one. And we are going to be engaging them here. Because they aren't probably paying too much attention to us. Now we get a decently easy shot here, but we actually shoot over his wingtip. It doesn't really show it as well in the replay. 
we simply shoot a little bit too much to the left he ends up escaping with his life but we are at high altitude and we need to be careful because i can't really dodge people at this altitude whether it's a missile whether it's a mig-19 hauling ass directly vertical or whatever it might be i need to react to the enemies like 10 to 15 seconds in advance and if i don't i'm basically gonna fly straight into their guns and i'm not really looking forward to that wait for the f-86 to pass through the nose i mean he's probably not gonna track him anyway but i have hope maybe he was gonna try to fly away from us we go for the shot here we actually connect and i i absolutely hate replay system but you know it is what it is it's extra because otherwise the video would have been 30 minutes anyway so if you want more footage here you have it if you really dislike the, the replay system well i'm sorry uh, you'll see me in the next video i guess we are now going to go into a bit of a horizontal turn here. The Mix 19 and the 17 are both following. The 17 is not going to be pulling inside of this because we just maintain too much energy. And the Mix 19 is being pressured by someone else. So we can simply disengage now and see what they do. Now he shoots a missile at us and this is why I run the rocket pods. I don't really need to do fancy maneuvers. I just need to kind of pull out of the way and we are completely safe. Now we might have a second one so I do want to be somewhat careful of that. But for now... I kind of want to turn around and go for the MiG-19s and the MiG-17s that are like engaging my F-86. But I think he just died. Yes, he did. And I don't know who to go for. Well, obviously the MiG-19 is going to have priority. He's going very slow. Now he is in a bit of a flat spin, but I'm not entirely sure if he can recover it. And this is a low-key steal. I didn't want to really steal it, so I just tap it. It doesn't end up killing him, but at least it's going to make me know for sure that he is not going to be pulling out of that flat spin. Whether I get the kill or not, I really don't care. I just want to make sure that he is actually dead. F-86 in front of us together with a hunter and the F-86 does not have flares. He is going pretty straight. He is trying to follow the friendly in front. Luckily, uh, he's not paying attention and even an A9B will hit you if you are not looking at it. Get behind the hunter. The hunter will be more maneuverable. He's also going slower. We will overshoot. Luckily, we one-tap him out of the air. And I did throttle drop, but you can't see it because, well... Gold Blast, the replay system. Take a bit of a head-on, we don't end up hitting anything. And we are just gonna go vertical because it's only an SU-7. And it's also, it's kind of like the F-100, except with a lot more power. But because he delayed his turn a little bit and we turned in instantly, he's gonna just straight up pass directly in front of us. So he is gonna be crit. He's not dead yet and he is very much airworthy. So we are gonna turn back in and basically one-tap him with such a short burst that the replay doesn't even recognize it. But hey... Whatever. MiG-21 flies in front of us. We are flying towards their side of the airfield. And at this point, I'm on like 3 minutes of fuel. I have absolutely nothing left. I kind of went for a one-way trip. Because I just wanted to kill as many people as possible. And if I have to land, it is not going to happen. So we take a shot at the MiG-21. We missed the first burst. But he's not really paying attention. And he's going to kind of just assume we are out of range. So I'm going to shoot once more. And boom. Boom. Down goes the MiG-21. Now I do need to start reacting to the MiG-17 that's coming in from the left side here. And I need to be careful of the clouds. There is like four enemies in this vicinity. And I'm not able to see any of them because of all the cloud cover here. So I need to go vertical. I need to kind of stall out this MiG-17 the same way we did with the F3H, with the A4E and the Key 200 a little bit earlier. And we're simply going to get a bit of range, distance, altitude. And then we start doing the good old spiral. Now at this point I have no idea where he actually is. But I can somewhat hear him. I can sometimes see the dot face through the clouds. You can't see it in the, in the replay. But I lose him eventually. And I'm simply going to just push through the clouds. And see if I can kill the MiG-21. So that he can at least not land and repair. Now the MiG-17 is actually flying back to the runway. In a bit of a 3v1. Which is I think absolutely comical. But you know, it is what it is. And I will be able to catch this MiG-21 because he's simply not going fast enough. And he is very much heavily crit. So I'm gonna just send it. I need this guy dead. I cannot let this guy get back to the runway. And he goes vertical just before I get in AA range. Which I can't really say anything. But thank you very much. Looks like I missed in the replay. But as you can see, he very clearly died. And I need to get some altitude here to start dodging the missiles of the SAM sides. And then this guy shoots a missile at me. And I think that was a radar missile. It was 
if I was going a little bit slower, I most likely would have died right there. Now the MiG-21S is a little bit dangerous when it comes to this maneuver because it has a very strong engine and it's able to kind of stand on it. So I'm actually going to level out a little bit, go more horizontal, make him bleed more speed, keep a bit of my own so that he can't just stand on this engine and pull inside of me. Instead, well, he stalls out. We are directly above him. We drop all the way down to landing flaps to flip over a little bit quicker. We drop the throttle. And we need to chase him right now. And I hope he wants to go head on with me again. Because then he just simply dies. But if he doesn't dive away properly. And then pulls up. That is even better. This guy is completely out of energy. He's gone way too slow. And we are just gonna loft tap him. I said we're just gonna, we're just gonna loft tap him out of the air. And that's kill number 6. Now I can say 6 had an assist. But... The assist was the guy that was in the flat spin, so that doesn't really count. We then go back to the runway. We do make it back with like 30 seconds of fuel from this point towards the other side of the map. Unfortunately, the second I'm touching down on the runway, the game ends on tickets. Thank you all for watching and you'll see me in the next one.